We take a great amount of pride in that we do get fresh apples right off Monticello and we use that in our cider. We really work very, very hard at trying to harness the natural goodness in the apples that are around. We don't just make ciders at Bold Rock that just reflect the apple. We want to also use the qualities of the apple to make ciders that people really like to drink. And I think combining, to me, the art of craft is taking the wonderful source of raw materials that are all around us and crafting drinks that people like from those raw materials. There is a tremendous amount of craftsmanship to take new technology, but a lot of the old philosophy, a lot of the old techniques, and combine them with modern day process. We're actually putting our hands on it. We're constantly doing things just a little different. We just try to make it a little bit better. We're not just a huge corporation that's just, this is how it's done, this is how it's gonna be. We don't get a formula and then bring in the materials and make it. It's all from scratch. Every single bit is from scratch. It's an art. It, you know, it's a true art. Getting the right blend. Getting the right yeah. blend where the mouth feel is good, the, 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 uh, the taste profile, of course, the sweetness. That's the art to the cider making science. So blending is, it's much like, um, exactly like blending a wine. So you have multiple different ferments that you're pulling from to make the perfect, consistent, delicious product. We're in here almost every day, at least one of our cider makers is. We're constantly working with the product. It's always a very hands-on experience. We don't have any computers running our cidery. We you know, hook our hoses up manually. We check everything by hand, making sure everything smells right, tastes right, looks right. You don't really have machines for that. It's very much a, um, a labor of love.